Hallelujah. 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 Let me tell you the truth. There are many times in your journey towards destiny actualization that you will not have answers. Don't be under pressure to give answers. Wait for the answer to come. Especially the answer of where is your God. Anybody who asks you where is your God, if you answer it, you are wrong. You are not the one who should answer that question. <laughs> The moment they say, where is your God? That answer should be transferred back to God. You've heard me say, if you take the shame, you have been taking the glory. You can't be taking, God cannot be taking the glory and then you take the shame. Whoever takes the glory must take the shame together. You claim you are a man of God. Nobody has been healed. The people who are blessed, today 10 members, today 50 members, and someone will tell you there's something I can do, and in one month, your ministry will change. And sometimes it can be tempting because you're a human being. Somebody will say, I told you five years ago you will be a failure. This God thing. Remember, when you were on campus, I told you this stupidity will land you in trouble. Now, 10 years later, you are pastoring 20 members. I have an estate somewhere. There are times it looks foolish to stand on God's side. But when you stand there as surely as the sun rises after night, I can tell you your deliverer will come. And when he comes, he will come in grand style. He will pick you in the presence of all who saw you. I'm speaking this prophetically for someone. Because for someone, you came to church. And every time you hear people prophesy, maybe you are a mother outside. Maybe you are someone, maybe you are a man of God. Still in your spiritual, your walk with God. And sincerely, things are not working. Every time you see people testify here, you can't say they are lying. But from their testimony, you keep, you keep asking God, is it that you are not seeing me? I come early for miracle service. By 10 o'clock, I am here. Nobody calls me. Nobody prophesies. Other people are falling down and rising. I'm just there watching them as if God is not aware of me. And then, instead of things getting better, it even gets worse after the miracle service. It's like the louder I shout amen, the more it does not happen. Can I tell you, it is okay to cry. It is not unscriptural. Even Jesus wept. But one thing you are not allowed to do is to draw back. Listen very carefully. Mm. The Bible says, fear not. I have redeemed you I have called you by name and you are mine it says when you pass through the waters I will be with you through the rivers it will not overwhelm you then it says when you walk through the fire when it has to do with fire you don't run you walk through the fire and I, I, I wish God would tell you you only walk for one year sometimes you will walk for a long time a long time a lonely path that does not make sense when job was sitting down ladies and gentlemen do you know what it meant if i were to interpret job's situation i would say this man must have been an evil man nemesis would have caught him the world would say the law of karma has caught him and that was a sincere man who sat down to the point that his last support you know what it means when your wife looks at you and says listen you know i love you we've been on this journey for a long time but please i prefer you dead so i can rest if some naysayer is talking somewhere you don't care but now your wife and job said though he slay me hmm, though he slay me yet will i trust him though he slay me some of you your classmates will come and see you and after 10 20 25 years of graduation they are coming with their estates and their jeeps and everything and you are there they say what are you doing now i say well uh, we are, I'm, I'm a secretary in one church and they just nod their heads and say oh dear if you need any help please call my nigerian office i live in dubai now and there is a way people can say it that they rub it on your face and you just stand there and say god what is this mm. Mm. 
if you have not gotten to this realm it's because there's something you are not doing right i assure you if it is the road to destiny you must meet this realm someday no these are not realms you pray away you only pray for grace to pass through it the journey of becoming only happens in that wilderness the journey of becoming does not happen when you are taking coffee and sipping no 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 it's a painful journey for many years in your life I, I let me repeat it again no matter the kind of leverage you have if it is God you are seeking and the, his kingdom there will be a level where nobody's sermon will really be able to matter to you again you will have to be the preacher and the prophet of your destiny at that point if it has not happened to you I'm informing you ahead of time because for some of you maybe you are about to enter that season remember what I taught you about trainings you have been receiving the training of one who protects so when you see warriors you say oh dear I pity these people now you are about to begin the training of a warrior go and go to NDA and see how they train military men sometimes these men are asked to roll inside mud you, you will say this is dehumanizing but they are preparing them and they kick them kick them again yes sir ah. even when I don't trust in it I can trust in you even when I no longer trust in the future do you know there are times people can ask you how is that future and sincerely if you are to be honest you don't even know what to say again there are times people are, are you still in the ministry will you still continue if you are honest there are times you don't have an answer hear the word of the Lord when you cannot trust in it trust in him when the boat can no longer carry you trust in the person who is sleeping in that boat hear me there are realms you get to where no matter how strong you are your tears will not ask you again it will come by itself you will stand there courageous sometimes maybe helping others through their storms but there are times the tears will say i've tried i've waited for five years it will have to come Jesus, the miracle worker who raised others from the dead on his way to becoming that king of kings and lord of lords in experience. The Bible says he wept. He prayed. I wonder what he was saying. The Bible gives us a little and he says he repeated it again. Father, if it be thy will. Let me tell you there are times that this journey to destiny is very hard someone who came to marry you and he's not serious with God you would have said yes you would have married a wrong person but you would have been free you said no 10 years ago until now 10 years later and people will see you and say you are a stupid girl you would have simply married that unbeliever you stood expecting God to honor you and it's 10 years now hmm. what do you do when what people are saying about you is true not to organize the crusade they told you there is witchcraft within that territory that if you organize that crusade it can cost you your life and you still went souls were saved and on your way returning there was an accident how do you explain that you stood on the crusade ground and you shouted and you told them Jesus heals let me tell you this when what you believe is not yet your reality here is what to do stand 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 i'm prophesying you i'm not preaching some of you in the night while you are sleeping you will hear the voice of this preacher again telling you remember God spoke through him stand you are about to compromise stand you are about to abort destiny whereas heaven is clapping for you for your stamina and your endurance stand 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 stand, stand. politician stand man of God stand remember nobody has risen as a revival a revivalist in your village stand you are the one God is counting on it is painful but stand stand I know a man
man of God, very simple man of God, he's gone to be with the Lord now. Great healing man of God. Loved God with all his heart. And one day, they discovered that he had cancer. And initially, he shrugged it off and waved it off. The naysayers laughed and said, thank God. Ah! What happens when your naysayers find a reason to rejoice over you? Was it not the psalmist that said, unto thee, O Lord, do I lift up my soul? He says, oh my God, I trust in you. Let me not be ashamed and let my enemies not triumph over me. Listen, that man's health began to deteriorate and deteriorate and deteriorate and deteriorate. And I saw the way it shook the family. This, uh, this is a believing family that loved Jesus. And finally, he couldn't stand again and he had to go. Mm. Please hear me. The Lord sent me to bring this message. These are not popular things, but let me submit to you by God. Becoming is very difficult. Becoming. Becoming an anointed man of God. One day God will give you an instruction to fast for one month, one year, one week. There are levels of consecration that will look as if God wants to kill you. This anointing you see is not just by laying on of hands. Oh, believe me. You want to speak over people and swing open the gates of their destinies? <laughs> There are sacrifices but those who become are those who must be willing to know that God is in this and I will go all the way I will go the way all the way all the way there are missionaries who are in Nigeria today are in parts of Africa they literally left their people left their comfort some of them resigned from jobs as successful people and they answered the call Abba, my people Except you are motivated by something greater than the comfort of the now. You cannot make that sacrifice. Some of the men of God, you see that sometimes we abuse and insult. You don't know the things they left to serve the Lord. For many men of God, especially in Africa, it's not like they were total failures and they did not know what to do with their lives. Some of them were mandated by God to give up things. And they stood to bear the cross like fools some of them even unto death but the people that do know their God this is the scripture we're discussing